Let's walk forward. <laughs> and ladies, I'm not sure whether this is enjoyment or not. We're into our second year and, um, and hope to keep growing it until we can fill the entire Great Hall. Right now we're in the half Great Hall. And, um, but it's been a wonderful experience and um, it's also a way to uh, continue to give artists uh, work. You know, and I feel that that's a, an important part of our mission these days is to make sure we provide for our artist community as well as our audiences and give them diverse experiences and, and uh, different cultures of dance, music, theater, storytelling. A year ago, we did not have regular dances in this hall, so I just felt that this was a resource that needed to be used, uh, and a lot of people fought very hard uh, and, and long and you know, with perseverance in, in uh, making sure that the hall became a reality. It was uh, the wish of the community to have a, a great hall for dancing. I went for years to the Glen Echo dances, and the, the, those are absolutely wonderful dances on Friday nights and Sunday nights. Uh, and, but I, th I thought we could have a dance here in, in Silver Spring that could still attract uh, a number of, of new dancers. You know, my, my goal is always to bring new people into um, the, this world of contra dancing and square And my hand is on his shoulder blade because that way I can help su to support my own weight. Your hand isn't here, ladies, or here. It's on his back. So then if we turn right hip to right hip and walk forward, so I love the idea of having families coming to dance um, in the early part of the evening and then we, get, we graduate to, to um, more challenging dances as the evening goes on. But the other aspect is the live music that I just think is so wonderful and such a privilege to, to have that anyone can do these dances and you don't need a partner, you don't need prior experience to uh, enjoy this dancing and, and even if you don't feel like dancing, being a spectator and, and being able to uh, just appreciate the music is, is a whole other way of experiencing the dance. The, the challenge is, is to, to keep finding enough volunteers so it doesn't fall to one or two people each time. And ultimately to have the kind of funding that, that will pay the artists even better and provide for sound, you know, a sound system and somebody to run sound um, because ultimately it's, it is tough to rely solely on volunteers. And we all hope to see a weekly dance, you know, different traditions. So there, there would be a salsa dance the first Monday, that's already happening. Uh, the contra dance second thurs Thursday. Um, maybe African dance on the third, African and Caribbean uh, in the third week. And Irish, Scottish, uh, what else? You know, and for many, this is a new experience, but I can't tell you how many people come the first time and are hooked for life. And they find opportunities to do this dancing uh, all over the country. So there is a network um, that uh, makes it easy to, to do that. I just find so many people are having to resort to the personal ads or to finding, you know, meeting somebody in a bar. And this is a much more healthy, atmosphere, you know, in a safe place to come and, and make new friends.